China. Mark Bornovich joins me now. Sir, uh, this is dangerous, but I say this to every guest who comes on and addresses the border. Nothing changes. Nothing at all ever changes on the border. You can get a court ruling, doesn't matter. Nothing changes. How do you answer that? Yes, yeah, Stu, thank you for having me on once again. And we do, we are running out of adjectives to describe the chaos, but the reality is, is we've never, ever seen it this bad here. As an Arizonan, as the Arizona Attorney General, as someone who's a federal and state prosecutor, I have never seen it this bad uh, because the Biden administration has incentivized and decriminalized people coming here, and now they've monetized it by giving people government benefits. So that is why we're seeing these record number of people every month coming over into our country illegally. And then, of course, we have the issue associated with national security because of people on the terror watch list being apprehended. And then the drug cartels are taking advantage of this by flooding drugs into our country, poisoning our kids, and undermining our quality of life. So this is a man-made natural disaster occurring right now on our southern border do you think it's deliberate the open border deliberate policy uh, look i mean you i was a prosecutor and you look at facts you look at evidence and at first i think we thought joe biden and his administration wanted to abolish ice but i think this is kind of that neo-marxist leftist dream of just eradicating borders and they just want to i think get as many people to come into this country as quickly as possible to overwhelm our system and to get a bunch of people dependent on central authority the central government and they can usher in their neo-marxist revolution the supreme court ruled that maine cannot exclude religious schools from tuition assistance programs uh, that allow parents to use vouchers or send their youngsters to public or pri uh, to private schools. Uh, I believe you were on the brief to the Supreme Court. You supported this, is that correct? We supported the right of parents against the uh, states like Maine to discriminate against people based on exercising their First Amendment rights. Uh, in this country, unfortunately, there's been a, there was an ugly history of the 19th century where there was a lot of anti-Catholic, a lot of Eastern European bias where the states created, in fact, Senator Blaine tried to create national laws that would prohibit any sort of quote-unquote aid to religion. And so this is kind of a vestige, and I'm glad the Supreme Court now is finally addressing this to tell everyone that it's it's parents can control their kids education and we need choice because education is the ticket to upward mobility in our society and no one should be discriminated just because they want to send their kid to a religious school seems like there's a, a almost a political theme developing here that parents have the right and the responsibility to have more say in their children's education it's a theme developing all around the country and you're part of it i think yeah, absolutely, Stu. In fact, just this week, we've sued uh, the Scottsdale Unified School District because we believe uh, board members need to be removed for violating open meeting laws. They were shutting down parents just because they were speaking out against, um, you know, mandates related to uh, wearing masks and everything. And so we have to remember, it's the parents that created the schools. Uh, the, the left wing, the liberal establishment isn't here to indoctrinate our kids. We know that the left has taken over our universities. They're trying to undermine you know, law enforcement, they're trying to delegitimize our court, and now they're working very hard, whether it's critical race theory, or the 1619 project, or through school boards, to undermine the, the ability of parents to control their own kids' education. Mr. Attorney General, anything you can do to break the teachers' union monopoly on public schools, we're with you all the way. Mark Bronovich, thanks I'm for being I'm fighting hard, too. Thank you. Uh, yes, you are. Thank you very much indeed for that. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Let's get back to the markets. Where